Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, commonly known as ADHD, can be a challenging issue for children and their parents. This condition is not just a phase or a result of modern society's fast-paced lifestyle. It's a scientifically recognized behavioral disorder that affects both boys and girls across all ages and can persist into adulthood. ADHD is one of the most common neurodevelopmental disorders of childhood. While it's historically been seen as more prevalent in boys, recent research suggests that it may present differently in girls, meaning it can often go unnoticed or misunderstood. The symptoms of ADHD can be grouped into three categories, inattention, hyperactivity, and impulsivity. A child with ADHD might have trouble focusing, be unable to sit still, or act without thinking about the consequences. These symptoms can interfere with a child's ability to function at school, at home, or in social situations. However, it's important to remember that all children can be inattentive, hyperactive, or impulsive sometimes. The difference with ADHD is that these behaviors are more severe and occur more often. They interfere with the child's ability to function normally and can lead to significant problems in many areas of the child's life. It's also crucial to bear in mind that these symptoms can be a sign of other conditions or even just part of a child's normal development. That's why it's essential to consult with healthcare professionals for an accurate diagnosis and treatment. All of the information we're discussing today is based on scientific research. Our understanding of ADHD is continually evolving, and what we know about it today can help children and their parents manage the condition more effectively. Understanding the early signs of ADHD can be a crucial step in helping your child navigate through life. So, let's dive deeper into this video and discuss the 9 early signs that your child might have ADHD. Before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Identifying ADHD can be tricky, especially since many of its signs can be mistaken for typical childhood behaviors. Let's delve into the 9 early signs of ADHD. First on the list is inattention. This is more than just daydreaming. Children with ADHD often have trouble focusing on tasks especially ones they find mundane or challenging. They may frequently switch from one activity to another or struggle to follow through on instructions. This isn't a matter of willful disobedience, the child's brain is simply wired differently. Secondly, we have impulsivity. Kids are known for their impulsiveness but those with ADHD take it to another level. They may often act without thinking, interrupt conversations, or have trouble waiting their turn. This is because the part of their brain responsible for impulse control doesn't function as it should. Our third sign is hyperactivity. This goes beyond the occasional bout of high energy. Children with ADHD often seem to be in constant motion. They may fidget, squirm, or talk excessively. Remember this isn't a choice. It's a manifestation of the hyperactivity that's characteristic of ADHD. The fourth sign is difficulty with organization. If your child struggles to keep their belongings in order or has trouble planning and executing tasks, it could be a sign of ADHD. They may also struggle with time management, often underestimating how long tasks will take. Fifth on our list is forgetfulness. Children with ADHD often forget to do tasks, even ones they do regularly like homework or chores. They may also lose things frequently such as toys, books, or school supplies. Our sixth sign is emotional instability. Kids with ADHD often have trouble regulating their emotions. They may have outbursts of anger or frustration, often over seemingly minor issues. This emotional volatility isn't a sign of a bad temper, it's a symptom of ADHD. Next we have the seventh sign, difficulty following instructions. Kids with ADHD often struggle to follow instructions, especially those that involve multiple steps. This isn't because they're not trying hard enough, it's because their brain struggles to process and retain the information. Our eighth sign is frequent mistakes. Children with ADHD often make careless mistakes in schoolwork or other tasks. They may rush through assignments leading to errors or struggle to pay attention to details. This isn't laziness or a lack of intelligence, it's a symptom of ADHD. Lastly we have the ninth sign. Difficulty with social interactions. Kids with ADHD often struggle to pick up on social cues, leading to misunderstandings or conflicts with peers. They may also be more likely to engage in risky behavior which can further complicate their social interactions. These nine signs are just a guide. They don't necessarily mean your child has ADHD, but they can be a starting point for a conversation with a healthcare professional. If you've noticed several of these signs in your child, you might be wondering what the next steps are. Let's say you've recognized a few of these signs in your child. It's understandable to feel a bit overwhelmed, but don't worry. 
we're here to guide you through the next steps. First and foremost, it's crucial to seek professional help. ADHD is a medical condition that requires a proper diagnosis from a healthcare professional. It's not something that can be determined through an online quiz or a checklist. A comprehensive evaluation by a qualified professional such as a pediatrician, psychiatrist, or psychologist is necessary. They'll take into account various factors including the child's behavior in different settings, the duration and severity of symptoms, and how these symptoms affect the child's daily life. Once a diagnosis is confirmed, it's time to explore treatment options. There's no one-size-fits-all solution to managing ADHD. It often involves a combination of approaches tailored to the child's unique needs. Behavioral therapy is often the first line of treatment, especially for younger children. It involves working with a therapist to learn new behaviors and to replace old disruptive ones. For example, children can learn strategies to help with organization, time management, and dealing with emotions. Medication is another common treatment option. Several types of medication can help manage the symptoms of ADHD. Stimulants are the most commonly prescribed and have been shown to be highly effective. However, non-stimulant medications are also available. It's crucial to remember that medication should always be administered under the guidance of a healthcare professional, who can monitor its effectiveness and adjust the dosage if necessary. Beyond therapy and medication, lifestyle changes can also play a significant role in managing ADHD. Regular physical activity, for example, can help reduce symptoms of hyperactivity and improve concentration. A balanced diet, good sleep hygiene and limiting screen time are also beneficial. Now let's circle back to the role of parental support. Understanding, patience, and support from parents can make a world of difference for a child with ADHD. It's important to remember that your child isn't acting out on purpose. They're dealing with a condition that makes it hard for them to control their impulses. Be patient, be understanding, and provide positive reinforcement whenever possible. Creating a structured environment with clear expectations can also be helpful. Break tasks into manageable pieces and use visual aids to help your child stay on track. Encourage them to take breaks when needed, and to engage in activities they enjoy. Finally, don't forget to take care of yourself. Parenting a child with ADHD can be challenging, and it's important to ensure that you're also getting the support you need. Reach out to support groups, seek advice from professionals, and remember to take time for self-care. Remember, every child is unique, and what works for one might not work for another. It's all about finding the right balance that suits your child's needs. There's no perfect formula for managing ADHD, but with understanding, support, and the right strategies, your child can thrive. ADHD is a complex disorder, but with understanding and the right support, children with ADHD can lead successful and fulfilling lives. As we've discussed in our journey today, the early signs of ADHD can be diverse and are often mistaken for typical childhood behavior. The key, however, lies in the persistence and intensity of these behaviors over time. Let's quickly recap what we've covered. We've looked at nine early signs of ADHD, from persistent inattention and hyperactivity to impulsivity that seems excessive for a child's age. We've delved into the science behind these symptoms, shedding light on how ADHD impacts a child's brain and behavior. But we didn't stop at simply recognizing the signs. We also explored what to do about it. We emphasize the importance of seeking professional help. Remember, an accurate diagnosis is the first step towards understanding and managing ADHD. We discuss the various treatment options available, including behavioral therapy, medication and lifestyle adjustments. We highlighted the role of a balanced diet, regular physical activity, and a structured routine in managing ADHD symptoms. We also touched upon the importance of emotional support. Understanding, patience, and positive reinforcement can go a long way in helping your child navigate the challenges of ADHD. So what's next? If you suspect that your child may have ADHD, reach out to a healthcare professional. They can guide you through the diagnosis process and help you explore suitable treatment options. Remember, ADHD is not a verdict. With the right support and strategies in place, your child can thrive in their unique way. And you, as parents or caregivers, are not alone in this journey. There are numerous resources and communities out there dedicated to supporting families dealing with ADHD. If you found this video useful, please leave a comment below. Your feedback helps us create more content that matters to you. Remember, there's a calorie and protein calculator in the description below to kickstart and track your fitness journey. This tool can be a great way to promote a healthy lifestyle which is an essential part of managing ADHD as an adult.
And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to detox from sugar and learn how to curb your sugar cravings, watch the video on your screen next.